Hello everybody and welcome to this week's update video. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer de developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me for yet another uh, week where we have a look at the things that I've managed to do this week. Uh, before we have a look at the crashes that I've managed to fix, let's uh, thank the sponsors. sponsors. Um, a big shout out and a big thank you to everybody who continues to support me on Patreon and LibrePay. Um, you guys are the best, especially to the guys who are, have signed up in the last week. Um, small and big amounts. We're really uh, getting to a place where this is going to become sustainable. So thank you. Um, so let's kick off with what I've been up to. Um, this week has been actually kind of busy. Um, a lot of crash fi fixes. We have a, a crash fix in the export dialog. Basically, where when we open dialogs, we try and track what document we're working on. And if you track that badly, you get crashes. Uh, we had a crash in the color widget where you, if you had an extension which you, which asked you for a color and you use that extension twice, God forbid you should use the same extension twice uh, and try to set a different color, it would crash. That's been fixed. Uh, a crash with the page manager. Now, this was a bit more involved because it involved refactoring. And um, what it essentially meant was that the the way in which the page manager is stored uh, used to be stored against an object called a named view, but I had to change it to be stored against the desktop, uh, the uh, documents, sorry, simply because the, the, the document was tracked better than the named view. The named view was all over the place. Um, and so if you run an extension, it would cause the multi-page support to crash, which seems weird, but it's just the way the tracking of ob objects works. That's actually a lot more safe now. A uh, small feature, I added uh, the the labels that you add to pages will now be exported into the P P PDF. Uh, it's a small thing that I forgot to add in the, the multi-page support. So your PDFs will actually be, will have labeled pages now. And, um, the final sort of fix um, is the paste in place fixes. Uh, this is practically the only thing that I can show you uh, visually because all the other things are crash fixes. It's uh, essentially, I added a feature last year where you could uh, copy nodes instead of just objects. So you could select a section of an ob object and then paste uh, those pieces together. Right, it give you an extra dimension in which you could use the clip clip clipboard as a way of breaking shapes apart and put, put putting them back together again. Um, there's two types of pasting in Inkscape. One is paste, where it puts it where the mouse pointer currently is, and the other is paste in place. And paste in place will try and keep the position of the original copied object. Uh, the paste in place was completely broken, and the uh, the other thing was that the style was wrong. So the the um, stroke widths, for example, would be the in incorrectly proportioned, and that's just because this, the document scale was getting messed up on the clip clipboard. Both of those issues are fixed, so that you can copy and break apart and do more naturally flowing things, and hopefully the positions of things won't break. Um, big shout out to a Patreon supporter, long time pa Patreon supporter who actually uh, asked me to fix that problem for them. Um, if you'd like your prob problems fixed, this is exactly the kind of way that you can do it. Okay, um, let's get into some other news. Uh, some other stuff that I didn't do. Uh, although actually this next part I was definitely involved in. Um, the Inkscape pro project finally has a uh, uh, we have successfully secured the vote to hire Inkscape's first employee to as a project coordinator. Um, the job isn't open yet. It's still got a few more steps of administration uh, tasks to go through, but uh, the project has voted in favor of hiring a, a half-time, part-time project coordinator, probably from outside the project's current contributors, because the project current contributors are kind of developer for folk focused, and the project coordinator needs to be some somebody who is more administratively folk focused. Um, but we've done all of the, um, a lot of the meetings and consultations, making sure that the process is fair, making sure that our budgeting is reasonable, making sure that like all of the legal and other like angles that we needed to cover. This 
pro project, administrative pro project has been in the works for over a year. Uh, so many people have been involved in it. And we managed to get it over the line uh, at our meeting last week. Big thanks to the Software Fruit Freedom Conservancy for coming to the meetings, uh, for consulting with us so extensively on trying to get this through. This is a big part of trying to grow Inkscape and make it more sustainable by having uh, somebody in the prod project who is paid to look after many of the um, just day-to-day -day housekeeping tasks and you know, writing stuff down in a consistent way and recording votes and making sure calendar entries are up to date. That kind of uh, process kind of just helps, even like it helps the volunteers do their volunteer work just because of those like those back end tasks are taken care of. Um, I will certainly let you all know when the actual job post posting is ready um, because we want to make sure it's open to everybody. Um, the first actual developer update from Inkscape is PBS. You remember last week I told you about PBS's speed improvements fixes where they um, rather amusingly, we released the alpha so we could get a lot of te testing, especially the speed improvements, uh, broke a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. The alpha was not stable at all. Um, so his fix branch is actually called Fix Immense Breakage. Like that's the title of the merge request, which is just awesome. Uh, so PBS is has stuck with it and uh, repaired a lot of the issues that cropped up from the that speed improvement branch. Uh, Radle has fixed uh, fixed crashes in the swatches, fixed crashes in the three three D box, uh, fixed a display glitch in the new HS Love uh, color wheel, and fixed the counterclockwise rotation action, which was always going clockwise. Um, there is no such thing as counterclockwise. Nathan Lee, who you'll know as our bug expert, uh, he fixed uh, keyboard problems with canvas fo from focus. Harshil Patel, um, they fixed the, um, they basically added placeholders and tool, tool tips to the multi-page toolbar. Um, I think this will improve the usability of the tool toolbar. Uh, Mike Kalowski, um, he he fixed the desk color so it's set right. You can actually see in the in the shots that I showed showed, showed you the, the the default is gray now. Um, he also fixed a bunch of crash crashes with events and other default objects. So you know there's a lot of work on crashes. Thomas Holder um, he fixed a very important bug in the in the ex, the raster exporter, uh, which if you selected for instance JPEG. The default background color would always be black, so your JPEGs would always have a black color because transparency isn't allowed in JPEG. Um, he's fixed that, so it uses the background color from the page. So uh, you know, you export to JPEG, you get a color that's reasonable. Um, Jonathan Newhouse has uh, done a bunch of stuff in the extensions work. He's continuing to plow through stuff. Multi-page support for the guides creator, translation strings for all for all extension stuff. Uh, fixed a reverse command for subpaths bug that crop, cropped up. Uh, a bug in the duplicate IDs for children. Um, circular dependencies and lots of pilot fixes. Um, and then finally, I, I wanted to give a shout out to Mark and Rene and Marin and so many other people in the pro project who uh, got the 1.1.2 point release out last week and the 1.2 alpha release. Um, I was in some of the video meetings that we had. We had like epic six hour, eight hour long video com conferences where we were hanging out, compiling stuff, making sure that stuff worked, releasing stuff, modifying the website. Those European dudes were up until 2 a.m. getting this stuff out the door. I mean, this is this is after they have like full time jobs and other you know, lives to lead and they're still committing, you know, hours and hours of their time to like get these releases out the door. Um, the 1.1.2 actually had a small bug in the, the PDF export had a problem. So Mark actually re-released it. Um, it wasn't actually our code that you had to change. It was just the, the, the packaging. Um, so it's like all of this work and effort Big, a big thank thank you to to everybody who just commits their time you know so much to making sure that like everybody else in the world can have this tool and be able to use it every day for their work and their play and everything 
So, um, yeah, that's, that's about it for this week. I want to um, thank you for jo joining me. And I want to invite you to come back and jo join me next week.